in Double Wide, Texas. The funny play opening at Abbeville Opera House this Friday. Inhabitants of one of the smallest trailer parks in Texas are thrown for a loop because the nearby town is trying to annex them. And then the hilarity ensues. We've got director uh, Rick Detman here with actresses Heather Miller on the end and Mary Elizabeth. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, this, uh, this comedy, you know, it, it escalates, I guess, is the trailer park residents are trying to secede from Texas. Give, Rick, give us the overview. They actually, uh, when the town of Tugaloo, mm -hmm. Texas, decides to annex this little trailer park, they decide to secede, but not only from Texas, they decide to secede, secede from the United States. Okay. They decide to go back to whoever owned Texas once before. <laughs> These guys are sticking with their guns. Um, Heather, yeah. you play Larkin Barkin. <laughs> Tell us about that role. And well, your prop there that you've yes, brought in. Yes, I mean, I think the secondary <laughs> uh, character is my prop, my, yep. <laughs> my big stomach. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but Larkin Barkin, she's a widow and she's new in town. And everybody sort of takes her in. And she helps out with the whole annexation situation. So she, I'm, uh, I'm from out of town. She believes yeah. in sage, burning sage. Yes. <laughs> and making sure the aura She's from of Oregon. The room. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Looks so great. Mm. So you're taking care of everybody. And then Mary Elizabeth, you are Starla Pudney. Tell us about this character. I play Starla Pudney. I'm married to the mayor. Oh. And um, I'm Tugaloo. kind of a high maintenance mm -hmm. wife, but um, I'm. It comes out that I'm having an affair with someone on the side, and I'm very put out that he is having an affair with someone else. So it gets crazier and crazier, and really the show is just <laughs> so much fun and yeah. just over-the-top funny. And you talk about just the slapstick comedy that, that you like in all this. Um, you also, you know, the props are, are worth mentioning, too. You brought some props into the show. What do we, we, what do we, we have? We did, and I'm going to show you the props, but you, the audience is going to have to guess what they do. <laughs> See, we have an oven mitt. Mm -hmm. Pink is very important in this play. Okay. We have lavender roses. We have yellow roses. We have a cowboy boot. We have Elvis. We have handcuffs. And we have the steer horns. Each one of those things has something to do with the play, mm -hmm. but I won't tell you. You have to come and see it to understand how that all comes together. It's just, it's nuts. And and you're kind of, you know, the prop guy in a lot of this. You're talking about how any time you shop, you go into a thrift store, you kind of have to eyeball something and go, that might be useful I, in this production. I am. Yeah. I've been the prop master in, in Abbeville for years. And so you always look for things that, number one, are unusual, but things that also will show up good on stage. So, yeah. and you never know what play you're going to use them for. And uh, this play here, you know, they say laughter is the best medicine. You come to see this play, you're not going to be sick anymore at all. <laughs> Take care I mean, of all the nails. There's yeah. way too much laughter. Well, the props look great. And then you talk about the dedication. You know, you've got uh, nine actors that come together. Yep. How much practicing, how much planning goes into all this before opening uh, night Friday? From my standpoint, I've been working on it for about two months. Mm -hmm. These guys have been working probably about a month at least. Yeah. Um, and oh. this is Heather's very first play. So she's never done one, so she's you know getting used to it. Uh, we've got people all different kinds of Very experience cool. levels, so it's a lot of fun. The lady that you see on the screen there is Sarah. She's she's a hoot, all and right, and so, so we go everywhere from characters. this this age to Sarah, who's seventy eight years old on stage, which and, is fun. And I'm and Heather, what made you decide to jump into this production for the first time? You always kind of wanted to, to be in a. <laughs> Well, play? when I was younger, I was a singer and I did, you know, plays, but in my very boring adult years, I was in finance, so uh, I just moved to Abbeville in okay. South Carolina and decided that um, I should follow my heart kind of thing. <laughs> and also, it's a good way to meet everybody in Abbeville. They've been amazing taking yeah. me in. Very and cool. kind of like Larkin Barkin, I'm new in town. And <laughs> I Nothing get boring about right what you're doing now. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Wonderful. Not at all. Well, really great thing to do, you know, just supporting community theater. You talk about $2 from every ticket sold goes towards the Historic Preservation Fund, and that's what keeps the Abbeville Opera House thriving. It's something yes. very, very important. You're all passionate about that. It, it is, and the Opera House, uh, like we said, is 115 years old. It takes upkeep, yeah. but uh, 
If you've never been there, you're missing one of the true gems of, yeah. of South Carolina. You have to see a show there. All right, well, Rick, Heather, Mary Elizabeth, break a leg. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for um, having us. Show info on screen now. Double Wide Texas is at Abbeville Opera House Friday through Sunday. There's a show Friday at 7.30. Doors open an hour early. Performances on Saturday are at 3 and 7.30. And Sunday's show is 3 o'clock. Tickets are available online. All that info will be on accesscarolina.com.